Hello, everyone. We are Team Trustbytes, and together we are building an AI suite to accelerate the complete workflow of Web3 security. Who are we to build the next AI solution? The original idea to pair AI with smart contracts came from Mark, who has not only more than two decades of experience in development like data lakes, which are necessary for any AI, but also even more experience in leading and transforming large organizations. Jonas brings in the knowledge with a master in blockchain tech and experience of having built two Web3 companies, one with more than 2,000 clients and 20 million under management in just short five months. I'm the third co-founder and spent the last 11 years in cloud solutions from the needed infrastructure for large machine learning applications like the early programmatic advertisement to manage security and also applications like AI SaaS solutions for the likes of Lego or Volkswagen. And I'm a world champion athlete. Our vision is bold. We want to use advanced AI with the aim of securing exponential technologies as they will define the near future for all of us. And the numbers are shocking. Eight trillion in damages is just the start. The first use case will be blockchain. Then we go to AI systems themselves and quantum technology. So let's dive into the first use case, Web3 hacks. They are still happening, though audits are done. One reason for that is auditing is still manual. And we've talked to hundreds of auditors. As a matter of fact, an average $11,000 per audit are wasted, only leaving 24% um, of the time of the auditor for the essence of it and finding, finding vulnerabilities falls short. Our solution will change the game. We enable comprehensive insights in a fraction of the time, which means more bugs found in less time. And now Mark will present you our MVP. The product, our AI suite, puts auditor on steroids. It helps them to understand project and code 10 times faster, find more vulnerabilities in less time, and semi-automate audit report and proof of concept generation. So when I move to the demo now, I want to audit a file I, from a client. It's a password store. I upload it to our AI suite and present it here on the left-hand side with a, uh, with a file. I read it. It's new. I'm a bit confused. So I asked the AI, help me understand the code and make enter. And uh, then the AI gives me here some additional information. It makes me a function analysis and uh, it gives me some code logic explanation. I can go over to the password store and look over there, is it right or not? And then when I'm uh, done here, I can ask the AI, help me find vulnerabilities. And I ask here the AI in the code and it will present me here with a list of vulnerabilities that uh, uh, it's a vulnerability assessment where I see that the set password function is public to everyone and uh, it's uh, not good to save passwords to the blockchain. This is my demo and uh, let's switch over to the presentation again and I give over to Jonas. When we look at the market size, we looked into the um, spend cost for software tools that developers are spending worldwide on software tools. And then we broke it down to the uh, blockchain developers, including the auditors. Our slice of the pie would then be 8.5 million in revenue in 2026. <clears throat> Next slide, please. When we look at our business model, we are building a recurring SaaS model, separated in different phases, and phase one already started. So first we target independent auditors, then SME um, audit firms, and then we are going upstream and downstream with enterprise clients like large um, audit firms and also protocols, and then um, also individual um, blockchain engineers. In terms of our attraction, over the last couple of weeks, we contacted, conducted more than 500 interviews with auditors and um, audit firms. Um, had 95 sales meetings and generated 10 pre-sales for our AI auditing suite. In terms of outreach, we see most success on LinkedIn with 35,000 followers across all our profiles with an acceptance rate of 62%. Also, we onboarded top tier advisors for AI and auditing, and we secured our first angel investment. When we look at our ecosystem, we are participating in panel discussions, um, talks, um, public events, 
We also won a pitch event at Google in Warsaw, and we are in touch with the top tier um, odd firms in the industry like Quantum and Hacken, and we won some prize money um, for participating in the East Global Hackathon. So what do our customers say? Um, for example, our customer Shieldify, a small and medium-sized um, audit firm, is like really um, or really emphasized that we cover the entire audit process from A to Z and make them really more efficient in finding or conducting their audits and finding um, uh, less uh, more bugs in less time. Also, our clients are around the world, which really proves um, that there is a need globally and that we are scale our solution globally. Now, um, Thank you very much for your attention. And now we're looking forward to your questions. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for your presentation. And I hand over again to our judges. Great, I have an initial question. Um, so we have been doing a couple of audits and I do believe that other auditing companies like Certic already employ scripts and other automation tools to check for vulnerabilities already. So um, what's the difference here with AI? One, one difference is uh, normally um, during the interviews, we identified that auditors use up to 12 or 15 different tools, so switch back and forth. And while we integrate everything in one consistent workflow with our suite. Okay, great. And your AI solutions, could you give me like an, um, you showed an example, but that was a pretty simple one probably that's common. So what's your accuracy score computer compared to a human input? Mm -hmm. This is still the MVP. So we are building up. We need. We are actually raising our pre-seed to train the initial algorithms. Uh, we just tested everything. So we would target uh, 90 to 95% accuracy later on. I, uh, hi, Pascal here. I have a question regarding the sales slide you were showing there uh, so first of all i mean great great job on getting 500 like reaching out to 500 clients and getting like over 90 interviews i think that's pretty good uh you also had some success or like um customer testimonials there but i would be curious what how many of these have you actually managed to sign um and which of them are likely to implement it also within the next year let's say yeah Thanks for your question, Brett. Um, so these are already paying clients, so we already signed them. Um, this is like a um, basically was a pre-sale, um, and uh, basically um, our goal here is that we build up this community of um, um, small and medium-sized audit firms as well as independent auditors to co-build our AI auditing suite with them together. So they already signed and, and paid. Got it. So you have any, maybe I missed that part, but do you, so you have already some monthly recurring revenues? Not not recurring revenues. Um, this was um, rather a one-time fee. One time, fee. Um, one time, one time. It's like, uh, but we are switching to a SaaS model later on. Um, oh, okay. This is like rather rather like to, to um, figure out if there is like any demand and how much demand it was. Also, we wanted to, to put a threshold here so that they really take it seriously. Um, and really are, are keen to develop um, um, or co-build our AI audience suite together with them. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you, Jonas. And thanks for the for the for the pitch. Interesting uh, 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 products. Uh, from the interviews, do you see a kind of specific market you would like to to touch? You did five hundred interviews, which is uh, quite a lot, I would say. Uh, so, so, do you? Did you find also a market you say that's that's the one that we go to focus on first? Um, yeah, so first we target like um, independent auditors, like especially auditors that um, do audits themselves, like for example, on platforms like Code for Arena um, or Immunify and so on, um, but also small and medium sized um, audit firms. And then the next stage would then be like that we uh, um, also target larger clients, enterprise clients, um, like the big audit firms in the in the industry. And why would you start with the, the smallest first? Uh, because like, I mean, um, for us, it, it was like um, the easiest way to get in touch with them. 
Um, and like during our interviews, we also figured out that there is like some some sort of interest, and they are very keen to to um, learn more about the solution. Um, it's just harder to get to the first or to the bigger audit firms in the industry first. Um, like I said, we are already in touch even with the uh, um, big players in the market, but it's just way harder, especially if you're just building your MVP. I think like the the smallest, they really need to see the the, the added value and that that they themselves also still can exist, while the biggers can maybe calculate also the cost benefits uh, quite early uh, and and get some interest from from that side. That's correct. Yes, I made. I add to that, uh, so we follow a focused approach as well and want to really concentrate on this small segment first to increase the value and also get more feedback than we would get from an enterprise customer, for example, mm -hmm. and then scale up. Okay. Thanks for the clarification. Welcome. Okay, are there any further questions from the judges? If not, we have one question from the chat. I can maybe read it out loud. So there was one person asking, um, they were wondering how the audit works if the contract is inheriting other libraries. Does the um, also audit the libraries too? Also, how does it work with upgradable contracts? So um, more of a tech question here, kind of. It's a very good point because, um, as as a matter of fact, uh, statistically, the um, most vulnerabilities are happening with integrations. Uh, so uh, this is also one thing we focus on to uh, understand um, or to basically focus the AI on um, looking at the libraries, what is happening between uh, that for external calls, for example, and then uh, giving back. So this will be implemented as well. And if I may, may add, um, so first of all, we target like um, like one-time audits, like they are conducted um, um, at the moment. But then we are also looking at into monitoring, so that we are going to that direction that we um, build our solution for like a twenty-four-seven monitoring of protocols in a in a later stage. 